They'll set up pin on the 2-2 pitch, and that is strike three called right on the corner, and Pollock really has no argument. Here's a 3-2. Got him looking! Inning over! Perez gets a huge punch out and escapes a bases-loaded spot. 1-2, and a swing and a miss. He strikes out Mendick, and the inning is done. He strands two more. 1-2 pitch, and that is strike three called. Pollock down looking for the first out of the inning. Here it comes. And Seeger lifts this one into center field. Robert going back onto the warning track to the wall, and he'll make the catch. Miller tags. He'll score a sack fly for Seeger, but he just missed the grand slam, but by inches. Here's a 2 1 to El Bombi, and that ball hit well out to left field. Pollock looks up. It's gone! A three-run homer by the great Bombino, and it's a one-run game. Garcia had a couple of really good swings in this at-bat, and we talked about the third time through, and it rings true here this afternoon as Adolis Garcia with a three-run home run, the third three-run home run for the Texas Rangers. This ball is absolutely mashed out there into the left center field seats. Texas Rangers now trail just by one. Oh yeah, he's excited. You better believe it. Grew up a Rangers fan, Nolan Ryan fan. This one lined over short and into left field for a base hit. Good start for Duran. He'll score easily from second on Miller's base hit, and it's seven to five. He'd been in a tough way lately, so just maybe personally and for his confidence, and he hammers this one. Out to the alley in right field. Nobody home out there. Garcia with a good start. They'll wave him all the way from first. He'll score easily. A double by Calhoun. And now the throw gets away from the cutoff man. And Calhoun goes to third. So it's a one-run game on the Calhoun double. And now the tying run is just 90 feet away. Well, we were talking about how important that shutdown inning was for the Texas Rangers. And now they capitalize on back-to-back -back hits. The single by Garcia and Cole Calhoun smashing this one out into the right center field gap, hitting a, a couple of doubles. Adolis Garcia carrying the mail all the way from first base, scoring easily. A good base running by Cole Calhoun, knowing where that ball is. As it squirts away. The Rangers have scored in three straight innings now. Four runs in the fifth, a run last inning, another run here in the seventh. And Heim lifts this one out into right field. Vaughn underneath it. Calhoun tags. Here he comes. The throw from Vaughn is nowhere close. A sack fly by Heim. And the Rangers have tied this game in the seventh inning. Seven to seven the score. Great job by Jonah Heim. This is where the Rangers have struggled recently. Foster with a couple of checks and now the pitch. And Lowe shoots that one into left field. That's a base hit. Culberson will score easily from second. For Nathaniel Lowe is second of the day. And for the first time, the Rangers have a lead in this game. 8-7 in the 10. That was just a matter of time as they continue to creep back into this ball game. Nathaniel Lowe just, just got to love this approach right here. Not trying to do too much. He knows that a base hit's going to get the job done. He shoots his ball right down the left field line for an easy stand-up double, and Charlie Culberson comes around to score the go-ahead run. So vital at this part of the ball game. One one pitch, and that one gets away. Sprinting in from third is low. He scores, and that's a huge run. The Rangers with a nine-seven. Right, the one-two pitch and this ball in the air deep left field that one's got a chance but back at the wall it's knocked down by Pollock he couldn't make the catch Duran scores Miller to the plate he'll score wow coming apart for the White Sox in the 10th inning the payoff pitch and it's in the air center field Coming in, Garcia. He makes the catch, and this one is over. A wild circus of a ball game today, and the Rangers win it in 10 innings.